All right, fishy folks, got some extra tanks, some more extra tanks, some stands, an extra tank, but that's what we're looking for, tubs, because summer tubbing is upon us. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, ponds are filled with water and muck, not muck, just whatever. And I think I'm gonna add some more over here. I have a 55 gallon poly drum I have to cut and uh, that's where I'm gonna put my air pump. One air pump will run all these. Uh, all the way over there and on the other side of the fence I have a pond, uh, which I will show you as well. And I may run an airline all the way there or just leave it, not really sure. Or I may run another complete air pump or something. So stand by for water hyacinth. All right, fishy folks, this is a mosquito larvae paradise also known as Guppy Buffet. So I'm gonna leave the leaves in there. <laughs> leave the leaves in there, that's pretty funny. Uh, I'm just gonna put some guppies in there and we'll see how it does. All right, watch this. Boom, guppies are in. We'll see what happens. I will probably run an airline here somehow from the backyard. Uh, for an air stone or a sponge filter, but for now, I think we're okay like this. Looks like the guppies are starting to eat some deliciousness. There's probably plenty of places for fry to hide. I will get some lilies for this plate, this pond as well. So let's move on. All right, fishy folks, sorry about the noise. Got the air conditioner going, it's about 85 degrees here in Jersey. So another tub is gonna have bluegrass guppies. These are virgin females, so I'm going to add the male maybe uh, for a week and then take the male out after he does his, uh, his deed. And they're going in this tub. You can see the, the tub setups. These are like 18 gallon tubs. I have them a little low because we're supposed to get some pretty bad rain the next two days. So I have some drain holes here so the water can hopefully escape before it overflows. There's a couple around the tubs. Obviously, if it overflows, you could lose fish to the ground. Uh, over here, I am going to be adding those beams and uh, those studs, I mean, and uh, putting some more smaller tubs there. I have a 55 gallon drum also that I'll be cutting in half uh, and using those halves. I just don't know where I'm going to put them yet. There's my dog Indy eating what appears to be dirt. But yeah, and then uh, just so y'all know, smoking some salmon, got the charcoal chimney going. I'll be smoking some salmon for dinner. So, all right, fishy folks, be back in a little while. All right, fishy folks, there's the pond up and running. This is an actual pond. It did have a small leak before I got it. And uh, <clears throat> my kids actually use it as a filling station for uh, water guns. They had a water gun fight. Um, and then, you know, one of them left it out here with leaves and stuff in it. And I took it over as a pond pond. So you can see the duct tape on the bottom, but it seems to be holding. Uh, so we have a couple of water hyacinths and, uh, some guppies. These are the, uh, half black. No, these are the red tucks. Half black red tux guppies. Uh, some of them have a little bit of a purple sheen to them. Uh, there is two males and five females. Two males, five females. I had footage of what they look like, but of course, like a dummy, I erased it. Uh, so there's two air stones running off that air pump. And uh, I do have to waterproof the plug, but uh, for right now, this is what's what it is. What it's gonna be, what it's like. So there you go, pond number one, complete. All right, fishy folks, the last pond for today has two males, uh, both from the mutt tank, although that one is a spectacular red cobra, and a bunch of females. One of them looks probably ready to give birth, but we're gonna put them in the pond and see what happens. And I see we have a problem already. You can see there's no bubbles. And I found the problem. See? 
that's not gonna work right there. Let's try to do it one-handed. And we have bubbles. Now, I mistakenly left that air pump out all year, through the winter, through the summer, through the spring and fall. I know that wasn't in order, but you know what I mean. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna last. I don't know if it's gonna be able to power two more or three more tubs. Probably gonna get some smaller tubs here. Uh, and there's a gang valve there. So I gotta see what I gotta do. But for now, the summer tubbing season has begun. Summer tubber, se summer tubber season, holy Jesus. All right, fishy folks, we got some tanks. Got some more tanks and stands, but that's what we were looking for in the corner. Tub season, summer tubbing is upon us. A pond, holy Jesus, that's funny, but that's not what I meant to say. All right, fishy folks, this is a mascar, mascar, <laughs> 